Welcome to The Wisdom of the East, your gateway to explore ancient traditions and teachings that emanate from the East. Get ready for an enlightening journey where we unravel age-old secrets and wisdom that have shaped cultures and philosophies. Today we will meet Kenwa Mabuni and the style Shito Ryu. Was born in the Meiji era on November 14, 1889, in the city of Shuri, then the capital of Okinawa Prefecture. He was a descendant of the 17th generation of a warrior family, Shizoku, that served the lords of the ancient Ryukyu kingdom, prominently Oniyu Fugusuku, who lived in the 15th century and held the title of Peichin. Mabuni's delicate health prompted his father to seek martial arts training to improve his condition. At the age of 13, he became a disciple of Master Anko Idosu, who was over 70 at the time. Under Idosu's guidance, Mabuni learned 23 katas over approximately 11 years of study. At 20, he started working as a substitute teacher at the Naha Elementary School, where he met and befriended Chojun Miyagi, later the founder of Goju Ryu, and the one who introduced Mabuni to Master Kanryo Higaana of Naha. In 1909, with Idosu's support to broaden his martial knowledge, Mabuni began training with Kanryo Higaana, remaining under his tutelage for about four years. During this time, Mabuni had the unique opportunity to simultaneously train with both Idosu and Higaana, the two greatest karate exponents, each in their respective city on the island of Okinawa. In 1910, Kanwa Mabuni joined the military, serving in the Kumamoto garrison for about two years. Training during this period focused on physical conditioning, with no uniforms, karate GI, provided. At the beginning of the Taisho era in 1912, Mabuni concluded his military service and, on Miyagi's advice, entered the Okinawa Police Academy. In 1914, at the age of 25, he became a police inspector, a position he held for approximately 10 years. During this period, Mabuni practiced judo and kendo, mandatory for police officers. His role allowed him to travel throughout Okinawa, providing the opportunity to visit various locations, meet and train with lesser-known local karate masters, thus discovering and preserving additional katas and techniques. Kenwa Mabuni studied saijutsu with Shinbuku Tawada (1846–1920), learned bojutsu, nawaza, and atamiwaza from an old warrior in Shuri named Sakamoto, and studied bojutsu with Jino Sueyoshi (1851–1920), mastering various kabajitsu weapons. He also learned the ancient art of Ryokan Budo and Ninjutsu from Seiko Fujita, a respected master and 14th generation of the Kogoryu tradition, who played a crucial role in transmitting the soul of Japanese Budo to Kenwa Mabuni. In 1915, Mabuni lost both of his main mentors. Idosu passed away in March, and a few months later, in October, Higaana also departed. Around this time, Mabuni began training with Seisho Aragaki, who lived in Kumamura, a locality near Sissoko Island, teaching Luahan Kwan. Mabuni learned various katas, with and without weapons, from this master. At 26, Mabuni joined forces with Miyagi, just a year older, to establish a study group to research and train in karate. In 1918, the group was named Ryukyu Karate Kenkyu Kai, and its meetings took place at Mabuni's residence. This association comprised the most important masters on Okinawa at the time, including Gichin Funakoshi, Choshin Chibana, Anbun Takuda, Chojo Oshiro, Shinpan Shiroma, Saicho Tokumura, Hoko Ishikawa, Shinko Matayoshi, Tang Daiji, Tadaiki, Komo Hanashiro, Juhatsu Kyoda, Moden Yabiku, Hohan Soken, Kensu Yabu, and Chadaku Kayan. During the visit of the imperial members of Japan to Okinawa, Mabuni was responsible for the demonstration at Okinawa Secondary School in the presence of Princes Kuni and Kacho. On February 13, 1918, his first son, Kiniai, was born. That same year, Mabuni participated in a karate demonstration and had the honor of showcasing the art to Prince Chichibu, performing the Saizen Kata. On March 6, 1921, Mabuni and Miyagi participated in another karate exhibition held at Shuri Castle Hall, this time organized by Gichin Funakoshi to honor the visit of Japan's Prince Hirohito. In 1924, Mabuni decided to leave a successful career as a police inspector to become an official karate instructor at the police academy. 
In the same year, he completed the construction of his own dojo, located in the garden of his house, known for its excellent structure. With the completion of the dojo, Mabuni and Miyagi re-established the research group, realizing another old dream. The group's name was changed to Ryukyu Karate Kenkyu Karabu. This club was, in reality, the resumption or continuation of Ryukyu Karate Kenkyu Kai, created in 1918. Around 1924, Mabuni and Miyagi began taking the lead in training sessions, although they were still relatively young. During these sessions, Kumite practice was introduced and considered an excellent way to enhance the technique and physical strength of practitioners. It is important to note that during this time, despite technical differences between the teachings of each master, the teaching method was almost always the same, practical training. Providing practical examples was very common. If a student had any doubts, for instance, the master encouraged them to attack freely as they saw fit, blocking or dodging their advances and always asking, do you understand now? Also in 1924, Kenwa Mabuni started working as a karate instructor in two Naha schools. Three notable events this year were at the Naha Theater, the Imperial Group in Tokyo, and in front of Prince Chichibu. In 1926, Kenwa Mabuni participated in a demonstration for Prince Takamatsu. On May 30, 1927, his second son, Kenzo Mabuni, was born. In this same year, Mabuni achieved significant milestones. He first met Jigoro Kano, one of the most important figures in Japanese Budo at the time. Kano visited Okinawa with a group of dignitaries for the inauguration of a new dojo for the Association of Black Belt Judo and Kendo. The Ryukyu Karate Kenkyu Karabu prepared to welcome him with a demonstration. After the exhibition, Kano spoke about the possibility of expanding the art throughout Japan. Inspired by Kano's words, Mabuni decided to move from Okinawa to live elsewhere in Japan. However, he was not the only one leaving the archipelago, Miyagi, Motobu, and Yubiku also took the same initiative, all with the goal of expanding karate and kabajitsu. In this context, at the beginning of the Showa era in 1929, Mabuni moved with his family to the main islands of Japan. During the phase of accepting Okinawa's combat art on the main islands of Japan and as Mabuni's work progressed, some problems arose, such as karate being used in street fights, contradicting its reputation and ideology. The police themselves tried to oppose the practice of the art, as some criminals were severely injured during their arrests by police officers practicing karate. In 1931, despite all the difficulties, Mabuni's efforts finally began to bear fruit. During this period, karate became more accepted by Japanese society, and Mabuni began teaching officially, instructing many students in his home and at some universities in Japan. It was also around this time that he established the Dai Nippon Karate Do Kai Association. Around 1934, some Okinawan masters had already established credibility for karate among other Budo, including Mabuni, Funakoshi, Miyagi, Motobu, and Konishi. Around this period, Mabuni became an important figure in the martial arts scene, gaining recognition as a respected karate instructor. In 1934, Mabuni opened his first dojo in Osaka, located in the Nishinari region, which he named Yushuken. In 1935, Mabuni, along with Yasuhiro Konishi and Hironori Otsuka, started training almost daily with Morihei Weshiba, the founder of Aikido. Innovatively, Mabuni, Konishi, and Yubiku were the first to experiment with Bogukumite, combat protection, using combat protections from Kendo for this purpose. Miyagi did the same in Okinawa. However, as Manzo Iwata reports, the equipment proved to be too restrictive and uncomfortable, and the idea was rejected. In March 1939, Funakoshi and Mabuni enrolled their respective schools in the Dai Nippon Butokakai. In July of the same year, after undergoing an examination in the same session, they were both awarded the title of Rensher, which means, instructor, a grade in the traditional grading system of Japan. In 1941, Kenwa Mabuni began teaching at Toyo University in Tokyo, Japan. Mabuni had many students, but he granted few Menkyo Kaden, initiation license in an art. Among the few disciples who received this honor were Ryasho Sakagami, Kozii Kunaba, Manzo Iwata, Chojiro Tani, Masami Watanabe, and Ryusei Tamoyori. 
However, it is known that Kenwa Mabuni awarded promotional plates to some students, such as Kanii Weichi, not to be confused with Kanbun Weichi's son, from Okinawa, who received his graduation. Mabuni was considered one of the best exponents in kata throughout Japan at this time, and he was also known for mastering a large number of forms, which he performed very calmly, elegantly, and perfectly, as stated by Manzo Iwata. Additionally, Mabuni was a renowned researcher of an ancient Chinese martial treatise called Wubeiji, known in Okinawa as Bubishi, which greatly influenced the development of the Shitoryu style. He was recognized as the first master to cite texts from this book in his works. Kenwa Mabuni, the founder of the Shitoryu style, passed away on May 23, 1952, at the age of 62, due to a heart attack. His significance was such that his death was announced via radio throughout Japan. Over 3,000 karate practitioners attended his funeral at the Hattori Cemetery in Osaka. The Foundation of Shitoryu Karate Shitoryu Karate, officially established in 1931 by Kenwa Mabuni, embodies a unique synthesis of Okinawa's traditional styles. Mabuni, deeply committed to preserving techniques passed down by masters Enko Idosu and Kanryo Higaana, amalgamated the Tamari Te, Shuri Te, and Naha Te styles, creating a rich lineage that honored the contributions of these masters. Diversified Influences and Learning Journey Mabuni's journey was not merely a fusion of styles but a relentless quest for knowledge. Absorbing the swift techniques of Idosu and the circular methods of Higaana, he explored various martial arts through encounters with renowned masters like Miyagi, Aragaki, and Wu Xianhui. Legendary Expertise of Mabuni Mabuni's legendary expertise manifested in his mastery of Kihans, Katas, and Bunkai. By the 1920s, he was considered the foremost authority on T.E. Katas, sought after as a teacher. His collaboration with Morihei Weshiba resulted in the creation of Katas Aoyagi and Myojo. Official Naming of Shitoryu In 1938, Mabuni officially named his style Shitoryu, paying homage to the two main instructors who shaped his journey. His groundbreaking book, Kobokenpo Karate Du Numan, was published, marking the official birth of Shitoryu. His direct disciples, including Teruo Hayashi and Shogo Kunaba, played crucial roles in disseminating the style, establishing their own institutions. Legacy through disciples. Mabuni's legacy lives on through his disciples, who meticulously preserved the form and essence of traditional techniques, making Shitoryu stand out with its extensive kata repertoire, smooth and versatile combat techniques, inclusion of ground techniques, eniwaza, and the use of weapons, kabuto. If you liked it, comment, share, like and see you in the next video. Hello, folks. I am the Furious, and welcome to the Wisdom of the East channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. At the end, there are more videos like this one. I have some things to take care of right over there. See you later.